I'm now talking uh, as chair of the FISP and Working Group of Gastroenteritis. FISP is uh, the Federation of International Societies for uh, Pediatric Gastroenterology, Pathology and Nutrition and is preparing a document for the World Congress in 2016, which will be held in Canada. Uh, one of the societies uh, that composes FISPGAN is the European Society, or ESPGAN. And uh, I chaired a document, the guidelines on, uh, for uh, uh, the management of gastroenteritis of children of Europe, and uh, in this document, uh, there are several uh, issues that are uh, taken care in the form of a guideline. One major issue is, uh, is concerned about the uh, active treatment of gastroenteritis. The main step of gastroenteritis is uh, rehydration. However, mothers uh, and uh, physicians are looking forward to active interventions to reduce either the duration and the intensity of gastroenteritis. So the questions that were discussed by experts were what to use in adjunct to oral rehydration. And there are several interventions that uh, can be used. One is nutritional intervention. Nutritional interventions uh, have been proposed for treatment of gastroenteritis. The main uh, was the withdrawal of lactose. In other terms, uh, there was a proposal to use a lactose-free formula in uh, younger infants. This was heavily discussed, also based on a Cochrane review that uh, uh, showed uh, a reduction in duration of children. However, it was concluded that the since data on the efficacy of lactose-free uh, formula uh, is only uh, proved in hospitalized children, this treatment, so the uh, withdrawal of lactose, is not indicated for the routine treatment of uh, children with gastroenteritis. Drugs were also considered, and uh, it was concluded that there are uh, different drugs that have been uh, proved effective in reducing the duration severity of gastroenteritis. One is smectite, the other is, is T-orphan, and uh, finally, probiotics were also proposed. So there was a discussion about what to use, and uh, the proofs of efficacy are similar somehow. Uh, they show a reduction of about uh, one-third of duration of uh, gastroenteritis. Gastroenteritis uh, usually lasts one to three or four days, and uh, these interventions can reduce the duration of uh, about one day. They have also proved uh, to reduce the need of hospitalization. It was concluded that uh, active interventions can be used in, uh, in the treatment of gastroenteritis. Uh, there was a very careful analysis of uh, probiotic strains that have, have shown uh, efficacy for gastroenteritis it was concluded that uh, the proof of efficacy is available for a limited number of strains. One is Lactobacillus GG, the other is Saccharomyces boulardii, and the third is Lactobacillus reuteri. So this is only, this is the, there is proofs only for those strains. There are other strains that can be effective, but uh, at present there is no conclusive proof of efficacy. The other drugs, Smectite and Tyrofen, can be used as well. So the idea is that uh, there is the chance uh, to uh, use active interventions to reduce the duration of diarrhea. How can this be, be translated into developing world? This is uh, uh, the issue of the FISPGAN working group that is uh, actively working uh, to uh, see whether those interventions can be sort of exported in other areas where diarrhea is a major problem, not only in terms of health, but also in terms of uh, fatality rate. So this will be the work for the next years. What we are now doing is to compare the guidelines that uh, have been produced by different uh, uh, agencies and institutions and see how can we tailor the guidelines at local level. We will see in one year what is the efficacy of uh, what we can do.